Well, greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that's above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is Lord. He's above it all. And in Him, we live, we move, and we have our being. Yep, and in the middle of all that's going on right now, um, first of all, how you doing? Are you doing all right? Okay, well, let's go back to the original instructions. Um, be aware but not distracted. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Ride the wave. You know, have these, have these instructions that God gave us changed at all? <laughs> Are we seeing more and more the relevance and the importance of the things that He gave us when we were starting out? You know, on what has been this wave of light that we've all been um, that we've been riding and as light comes in and the darkness has less and less place to be all the things get exposed brought to the surface brought out cosmic um, catastrophic calamities taking place things being revealed that you would have never thought in the natural but in the realm of the spirit being exposed um <clears throat> Just a quick question. What what happened to the coronavirus? <laughs> what happened what happened to COVID-19? Um, yeah, just amazing how um, how that one just kind of disappeared off the world stage. <clears throat> you know, if if uh, what do they say if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around is there a sound? Well, if uh, <clears throat> you know, if yeah, if there's there's no coverage on these crises, would people have the outrage that they have? You know, would they would they go through the whole process that they have, or are people just programs, um, and they're being they're following the bouncing ball? They don't think for themselves. Whatever it is that they're told to think would be um, is is what they now have to do, and the program they now have to execute. So. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, tomorrow if you're told to be outraged about um, koala bears dying in Australia, then that will be the new thing that everybody will get mad about because they're told to, because they're programs, because they no longer have their own mind, no longer have their own ability to think. Okay, here's one. I think here's something to think about. Um, <clears throat> I saw the... Um, I saw the initial autopsy report for George Floyd, and in it, they ran a a um, a PCR test, and he tested positive for COVID nineteen. Now, under the, do you remember back to um, Dr. Burks in the White House, where she said if somebody dies and they test positive for COVID-19, they're, pro they're applying, her words were, they're applying a liberal count to recording the death count for COVID-19. So if somebody tests positive for COVID-19, they're counting that, is what they said. They're counting that. So, as crazy and absurd as it might sound, under the structure that was been used inside the states what's happened with George Floyd would have been according to the structure they put in place according to their words according to their system that would have been counted as a coronavirus death is that not insane um, I, I mean I'm seeing things right now that are, are incredible I'm seeing um, I saw one um, one post on Twitter where you've got healthcare workers battling the coronavirus outside in their full PPE clapping while you have all these packed marchers clapping as well, go walking by. Um, I, I mean, are these overlapping, overlapping psychological operations? I mean, what, <laughs> what, what is this? You know, underneath there, there's a, a post 
where there's that <clears throat> that one of four or five doctors in a row where they all say, um, you know, we go to work, so you know what you can do is you can stay home for us. We go to work for you, so you can stay home for us. What is going on? Now this is looking at it on a natural level. On the realm of the spirit, you know exactly what's going on. I mean, I, I think it's amazing when God said He'd shorten the time. I mean, literally, the time is so short that their, their psyops are being compressed together where there's no space in between them. They're all overlapping. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, listen. You can get caught up in all of these things. And there's a lot of thoughts that I have about stuff. There's a lot of things that, that we could go down so many different rabbit holes. Um, you know, we could talk about... Um, the corruption that's build, been built into so many systems, medicine for profit, uh, you know, the medical industrial complex, we could talk about um, policing for profit, you know, and the incentivization, you know, that, hey, it's getting close to the end of the month and we need some speeding tickets. And But all these kind of things that are just built in that have just kind of slowly just gone on where they got to run a body through the system. Sure, there's plenty of things that we can go into. And there's plenty of my own personal experiences we could go into, you know, or <clears throat> you can put your eyes on Jesus and you can also be aware of what it is that's important in this time. See, one thing that you got to be thinking about, too, is, OK, what is God doing in this time? Because he is exposing things. He is revealing things. Um, he is bringing things out. There are incredible shakings that are taking place. And look, hey, <clears throat> you know, buckle up. Because this is not this ride is not not done by a long shot. But um, what you want to be doing is in the middle of all that's taking place is um, is now God does have work for His people to do. There are things that we need to be praying about. Last night I was when I was going to bed and praying. Poof, the things that were coming on my spirit and my heart is like we do need to be interceding because when we pray. God does move. And we've seen it with 20 on 20. When we just once a month get together for 20 minutes with brothers and sisters in Christ. But what we've done is we've continued to press on and do that consistently. We've continued to press on and do that. <clears throat> um, not get distracted because we've got a lot of things that have tried to take us in different directions in different ways. But we have gone back again and again every month. And we are seeing in this year, and, I, and there's no there's no coincidence why God gave us <clears throat> this year. You know why twenty on twenty was was. I mean, this is this is a year like no other that we have seen. So you know we're just flowing with what God's doing. But um, yeah, I mean you had you had five years of buildup coming into this. Well, 2015, right? You can go back, you can listen to the podcast, you can listen to the shows, you can listen to everything that led up to this, that's been leading up to this. But this is, that's just 20 minutes once a month. But what has it done? It's people have showed up, recognizing who they are, showed up before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords as the children of the living God and brought their petition before Him and God is with them in their request and God is with us in our requests, and He has been answering our prayers in incredible and powerful ways. And not sometimes the ways that you might think, but He is answering our prayers. So we continue, we'll continue to do that as long as God gives us the strength and the power and the ability. We will continue to do that and continue to press on and continue to um, fulfill that peace. <clears throat> There's a lot of other things going on right now. And so... You know, I know that sometimes some things may be discouraging, some things may be difficult, some things may be hard to understand, but when you put your eyes on Christ, He's going to lead and guide and direct you. Because He did tell us God's going to shake everything that can be shaken. So we're seeing that. We're seeing things shaken that have never been shook before. We're seeing things that are coming down that have never, that are pillars in the previous establishments. Those things are, are coming down, being tested. Um, <clears throat> You know, you want to stay in prayer. You know, you want to engage. Listen, you can be a blessing to people. You can you can help people where there's the chance and the opportunity to help. Do
do what you can, where you can, when you can. All right? That's fine. Um, but don't get caught up in the masses, in the mind control, the group think, the, the agendas of the worlders. Because look, they will, they will run you from pillar to post. You know, God has given you a mind so that you can stop and you can think. And you know what? Sometimes you may agree with one thing and you may disagree with something else. You have that right. You have that ability. And if, you, if you're in the realm of the Spirit, listen, you know what's amazing to me? <clears throat> For me, I think about the people that are close in my life and in my world. And in the natural, in the natural, we have very little, if nothing, in common. But in the realm of the Spirit, there is a oneness in the body of Christ. There is a brotherhood in the body of Christ. There is a connection in the body of Christ that surpasses anything, anything that the world could ever think or fabricate. I mean, this is on the realm of spirit. Even And spirit is even stronger than blood. Because the life of the blood is in the spirit. <clears throat> you know? So let's go through that sequence because this is something I, you know shown me by a friend sometime long time back said that the life of the <clears throat> so the life of the bodies in oh so okay the life of the flesh is in the blood the life of the blood is in the spirit the life of the spirit is in the name I'll say that again the life of the flesh is in the blood so if you don't have blood going through your body your flesh there's no life in it the life of the blood is is in the spirit. If the spirit is not in the blood, if the spirit is not in that blood, then if the spirit leaves, then, then that's it. The life of the spirit is in the name. It is in the name of Jesus that there is life. And so when you have brothers and sisters in Christ, I tell you something, that is, you will, you will not find unity, connection, oneness, I've not found. Anywhere else, like I have found in Jesus' name, I have not found connection with people in this life and in this journey anywhere else, like I have found in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> you know, my my closest brothers in Christ are in the name of Jesus. I have found them in that place. The the the. <clears throat> it's amazing. It's amazing. And you know what? If I don't see them for years. And then we meet up somewhere, boom, just like that, oneness in spirit. We, we pick up where we left off, boom, just like that. I, I talked to a sister in Christ um, <clears throat> about, I started talking to her again about a month ago. I hadn't talked to her for three years. Just like that, boom, picked up where we left off. Incredible, incredible, not like a moment's past. Why? Because we're eternal beings. Because we're eternal beings experiencing this, this momentary situation here. But as an eternal being experiencing a moment in time, we do this in Jesus' name. And what you have in your brothers and sisters in Christ is something that's beyond anything that the world could ever dream of. So while the world is going around and, and you know, they're... they're, they're you know, they, they will, there will never, ever, ever be peace in the world because there's no peace within. You've got to have the Prince of Peace for you to have peace. You've got to have the Prince of Peace for you to be able to have peace. Why? Because you need the rule and reign of the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart before you can ever have peace. You cannot have peace. You know what... <clears throat> Um, you know, <laughs> um, you know, you you've got to. You, <laughs> I'm just thinking back. I mean, okay, I used to I used to swim competitively um, <clears throat> in college, or high school, college, and then uh, um, I swam internationally. I swam for the national team, swam internationally, and um, and one time I was and I I used to. Um, Occasionally, I just get inspired, 
and um, I would write things on my body, you know, in marker <laughs> before I'd have my races. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, like it got me in trouble sometimes with coaches and stuff, especially when uh, in races when there was video cameras. And I think one time there was, uh, this is when I was swimming on the national team in Sri Lanka, but um, I think there was, yeah, there was still some civil violence and civil civil unrest going on at the time. And on my chest, I had written, um, no peace without Jesus. And, um, <clears throat> and yeah, so, you know, you take off, you go behind the blocks, and uh, you take off your 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 uh, sweats and the video camera comes about to show the people before the races and then that's going out on on all the on all the channels <clears throat> that are covering it um <laughs> it's true you know the reason that I put that up there back in the day oh man I did some stuff but <clears throat> the reason that I did that was you know what yeah I'm, okay here it is um I'm not just swimming a race. I might as well share a message. Might as well share some truth. Just like I'm doing with you right now. Just might as well. You know, might as well might as well bring something out, bring something to your knowledge, bring something unto your understanding. Because you know why? It's, there's a truth in that. There will never, ever, ever be peace within. See, look, when you don't have peace within, how can you have peace without? If you don't have peace within, how can you have peace without? When people don't have peace within, then they act it out. Then they're at war. They're at conflict. They're, stri they're, they're, they're at war with other people. But when you have peace within, you can be at peace with other people. Now, sometimes situations come up and you need to respond. Sometimes things come up where you need to take a stand. Um, <clears throat> you know, and I, sometimes things come up where, you know, you've got to be physical to protect people. You know, I've had that experience come up. Um, you know, in the last number of years, there's been things that have come up, incident here and incident there. Um, you know, it is good to be able to deal with situations on a variety of different ways. The people of God that I know are very balanced, um, <laughs> very kind, very loving, and uh, the brothers in Christ, I know they also know how to take care of the people that are around them. In a lot of different ways. So, you know, but listen, you just, in all of these things, go back to the scriptures, go back to the word, keep your focus there. What did Jesus say? You know, don't worry about the morrow, for sufficient for the days of trouble thereof. You know, you, you troubles thereof. You, you need to seek first the kingdom and put him in that place always. And he's going to help sort through all of these other things. That's one. Another one is <clears throat> focus now. Here, listen. Focus now on building the things that need to be built. Doing the things that need to be done. You, look, the world ultimately, you know from the vision of Daniel, where that rock that came smashed the... the, the um, the idol pulverized it to, to like chaff on a threshing floor. The wind blew, blew it away. There was nothing left and the rock grew and filled the whole earth. Okay, ultimately you know that all of the kingdoms of this world will come to absolutely nothing. So knowing that, well, focus on the true kingdom, the kingdom of God, and building the things that God would have you to build. Building the things and putting forward the things that are um, part of the kingdom. You know, put that focus there. So start looking at that as well in this time and start saying, okay, Lord, where would you have me to build? Where would you have me to put my efforts, my energies, my resources, my time, my mind, uh, my network, um, whatever it is that I can do to be of service? Lord Jesus Christ, I am showing up for duty, Lord. What is it that you would have me to do? Start looking at that. Start focusing on that thing that God can have you doing and what He'll quicken you. And if you start looking to that, you start asking God on that, He's going to start giving you things to do that are incredible. And that's what you want right now. <clears throat> you know, don't, don't, listen, 
we don't worry about the things the world is worried about. Because their house is built on shifting sands. Their house is built on the sand. And when the storms come, everything that they are falls down. You are built on the rock, and the rock is Christ Jesus. So when the storms come, the winds blow and beat upon that house, it's, it does not fall, it stands. So we are not the type that, 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 that fall. We are the type that stands and endures through. And when the sunshine does come out, um, you've just been washed by the rain, and you are clean and you are shining bright. So I, I don't want you guys to worry. I don't want you guys being perplexed out there. I, You know, just praise God in this day. Thank Him. Thank Him for the blessing of life and thank Him for calling you. Calling you by His name. You've been called. And let's pray. Father God, I just want to pray for my brothers and sisters right now that are listening in. I pray for them, Father. We pray together right now in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the strengthening, the protection, the provision, the direction, Lord. And I pray that each and every one of them will be quickened within their being for your plan and purpose for them in this time. I pray, Father, that that the word that you've given us and the instructions you've given us would be manifest in their heart, Lord. That while all that's going on around them, Father, that they would not be distracted. They would be aware but not distracted. That they would keep their eyes on you, Lord Jesus. That they would ride this wave this wave of light, Lord, into what it is that you are doing and stay continually focused on you. Lord, we love you and we trust you. We commit each other into your hands and we pray, Lord, your kingdom come and your will be done. God bless you guys. We love you. Um, drop us an email, faithmix at gmail.com. Say hi. Always love to hear from you guys. Keep on keeping on. Don't worry about anything. Jesus Christ is on the throne. He is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He loves you. We love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye.